are coming to you live from NAB 2018. Thanks for tuning in to Post Perspective TV. And today I am very happy to welcome our friends from SGO, uh, introducing Jeff Mills and Miguel Donzel. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank you very much. Uh, I think, you know, everybody's talking about product this and product that, and sometimes it's nice to take a step back and really talk about why these products are releasing and what companies are doing big picture. So Miguel, do you want to sort of catch people up on sort of the philosophy behind SGO and what you've been doing over the past, what, 20 years? Sure. Wow. Yeah. Um, over the last 20 years, we have been developing um, technology with the um, idea that it was great to have a tool that was able to do a little bit of everything, having functionalities to do editing, compositing, color grading, all together. Now that doesn't sound like a challenge because everybody's actually trying to do that. But back but in the day... It was. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so for the last 20 years we have been building Mystica, which is exactly that. It's one tool that integrates all the needs that the post-production people requires. But now we think it's, it's the time to move forward. It's, a, it's the time to go pro proposing something much more flexible because people not only need integration now, they need extremely fast workflows, a lot of performance, so they need flexibility to build a very powerful workflow. So what we are proposing now is we are taking parts of our technology, we are slicing new products with specific tools for specific needs and creating new products that share the same core of the technology. Those products all together give the, give the people the flexibility to create amazing workflows and is specifically defined for the need. So that is not about having only an integrated uh, core, but also having the flexibility to build the perfect workflow. That's what we call natively integrated multidimensional workflows, and that is our vision for the next years of development. That's fantastic, and that's probably a good jumping off point to then turn to product talk. Um, and Mystica VR, uh, you guys have got some updates for that at the show. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Mystica VR, we actually introduced as part of this uh, multidimensional workflow mm -hmm. concept last year as a preview. And, That's right, um, that was a technology preview here exactly, last year. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now it's a release product. It's, it's aimed very focused at, at doing VR stitching. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very agnostic to all the different camera formats out there. And, and importantly for us, we're taking, say, that technology we have in our turnkey multi, uh, Mystica Ultima system, but putting these products out on a subscription basis, um, which actually is, it is a new venture for us. Ah, and okay. it's been hugely successful. Uh, we have probably a thousand people every day using the software already. Fantastic. Uh, we've become the go-to solution. That's not me just saying that actually it's, it's our friends in the VR community saying that so we're having a lot of fun and um, yeah so we've been evolving that product over the over the year but introducing say those new, new tools that the industry is asking for so we have now keyframing in you know in the software and then everyone's enjoying that. Fantastic uh, you guys do a lot of back and forth with your users I know when you're trying to develop your new products Absolutely. which is yeah. really important yeah. uh, and which is I'm just going to do segue after segue, <laughs> another new product, uh, Mystica Review, you've got now. Yeah, absolutely. So again, we've been looking at actually the challenges within the industry mm -hmm. um, and how we can best go and attack that. Um, and there was, a, there was a definite need in the market to do VFX reviews of these more complex file types and, and workflows that are coming right. out. And of course, we have a lot of power and knowledge on how to do sort of you know, real-time playback of these formats. So we've introduced a product here called Mystica Review, mm -hmm. which is, say, is, is a VFX review tool. Uh, it's got a lot of functionality in there. You can play an 8K file on a simple sort of workstation if you need to. So that's really cool. And you can do remote review sessions as well with it. Um, so we're going to come away from the show, go into a beta program, and hopefully have it out there in the next couple of months. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and you're also um, doing a bit of a technology preview this year. You gave us a little peek behind the curtain about yeah, exactly. uh, what you've got coming out next. Exactly. So I think, you know, we have a lot of people who know Mystica Ultima. Mm -hmm. They love the software. They love the, you know, the performance of the system. But, um, you know, it's provided as a turnkey solution, and obviously the market is changing rapidly. So we have a lot of customers who, who still buy that system, and we're very proud of that. And we have very strong relationships with the customers, you know, who, who take on that technology. But we want to try and push it out to a wider audience. It's, and so, it's time. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, uh, so the best way for us to do that, in, in a way, is to do what we've done with Mystica VR and Mystica Review. So we're going to take that software, um, it, it may be a little bit different to, to the main you know, so our uh -huh. hero system, and put it on a subscription basis, running on a Windows or Mac platform. 
so and supported online. So it'll be kind of the same product, but um, but you know, make it much more attainable for people to you know, so they can start using the software. Flexible. And yeah. uh, do we have a product name for this? Uh, Mystica Boutique at the moment. Mystica so Boutique? It, it may change, but at the it moment might we're calling be a, it, it might be a beta name as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So. Well, guys, thank you. It's always so great to catch up with you, and you guys are always doing such exciting stuff. So yeah, thanks pleasure. for stopping by and catching us up. Yeah. Um, so thank you once again to our friends from SGO, and uh, thank you for tuning in. We were coming to you live from NAB 2018.